a secret button in a bunker. And if you press it, money just falls out. No, the closest thing to that actually being a reality. It's free money. You press that send button and money starts coming in. Put your hands together and help me welcome to the stage the one and only Mr. John Pankerstein. How many of you, when you were introduced to this make money online industry and internet marketing stuff, and you, were, you saw these products for just push button money? Anyone seen anything like that? Anyone been around like the ClickBank space back in the day <laughs> where there were just programs like, you know, just the most fake set up actor, you know, rich video where it's like, I found a secret button in a bunker. And if you press it, money just falls out. No, like there's so much of this. Um, and of course it's not true. And of course it doesn't work. Email is the closest thing to that actually being a reality. When you start generating emails on your list and you can send out an email to 10,000 people at one time, you press that send button and money starts coming in. Or you press that send button and phone calls come in, come in and then of course you can close some of those. So the priority needs to be building this list. You've got to focus on it. You've got to spend time on building the list. But your attention to how much you're doing with your email marketing efforts is relative to the size of the list. So that's how I think I can be most helpful for you right now is dependent on how many leads you have on your list I'll tell you the type of things you should be focusing on. Would that be helpful? Yes. Okay. If you have uh, between zero and 100 people on your email list, go ahead and raise your hand. Okay, fantastic. So here's what you should be doing. If you're at that level, what you should be doing is absolutely nothing. Okay? <laughs> absolutely nothing. It is not worth your time, um, you know, your, your time, energy, and attention to be emailing the list and trying to do all of this activity with the list if you've got 14 people on the list, okay? If you've got 14 people on the list, maybe you'll have three or four of them open that email and you'll probably have none of them do anything. It's not big enough yet for the averages to play out. So as the list gets bigger, we start doing more with it. If, you're, if your list is at zero to 100, where should our focus actually be? So many answers, and I didn't know where I was going with that because I can't hear anything. <laughs> <coughs> Who said lead generation? Yeah. Get more, get more leads in, grow the business, focus on traffic. If your list is 14 people, okay, then currently you don't really have a business and you don't have something that's working. If you had something that was working, your list would be bigger. So we have to focus on the front end first. So we do absolutely nothing. Now, if you are between 100 and 500 people on your list, how many of you fall into that category? few of you, well, you should be doing content weekly. Don't even focus on promotions yet at this point. Don't even focus on trying to produce revenue from your list. It's too early, it's too premature, um, and you haven't got enough on the list for it to really produce any meaningful results. If you've got 200 people, you know, and you get a 20% open rate, right, then you're going to get, what's that, uh, 400, what's that, 40? Oh, dang, you see I failed school. 40 people opening, maybe then 10 people do something, go to the next page, and you might not even get one call booked. You might not even get one sale. So it's not really worth focusing on promotion at this point. What it's worth doing is focus on building the relationship with the list. So if you're in this category, you're starting to get the numbers up now. You want to stay front and center. You don't want your list to forget who you are. You want your name to still be coming into their email inbox, right? You want them to remember it so that when it gets to a point where it's big enough and you can actually do something with it, now you've got some momentum. Because the mistake you might make, and I'm hoping that I'm saving you from it right now, the mistake that you might make is you've got 400 people on the list. You're thinking, ah, oh, it's not very big right now. I've got bigger things to focus on. I'm, I'm trying to get my traffic sorted. I'm trying to get my funnels sorted. And you don't do anything with the list for three months. And then you get 700 people and you go, oh, I'm going to try sending one of those email things. So I'm going to send an email and no one really responds. It's because now you look like spam because they joined your list three months ago and they don't remember who you are. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So let's send content weekly. That can be whatever you want, by the way. Upload a video onto YouTube with some tips. Send them a link to that video. It could just be a weekly newsletter where you just have some top tips right there in the, in the email. It could be a podcast link. It could, be, you know, it could be anything. Get creative, but we need content. All right? Now let's say that you're between, let's say 500 to what it really is, which is 2,000. How many is in that category? Okay, good stuff. What you want to be focusing on is what I call the second chance email.
You want to be focusing on the second chance email and the, the step above. So you still want to be doing content weekly, but every now and again, you're going to promote something, um, you know, you're going to promote your existing funnel to your list again. So let's say you have a webinar, right? They opted in for that webinar. Um, they most likely didn't buy, because as you know, most people won't be buying. And so then a week goes by, two weeks goes by, three weeks goes by. You hit them up. You've been doing content weekly, so they remember who you are, and you give them a second chance to come back and check out your webinar, okay? It's just recycling the funnel that you've already got. It's very little work on your part. We're just going to send an email, and it says, uh, you know, hey, name, are you still interested in learning more about this, this, and this? If you're still feeling like this, if this is your current situation, maybe you didn't get a chance to check out my webinar. I do still have it running. If you wanted to come and check it out, I teach this, 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 and this in the content. Here's the link. Hope to see you on the webinar, right? So it's a second chance to just come back. If you're using a different sales funnel, second chance to go back to that sales funnel. Very, very low uh, you know, uh, amount of work, but you're going to start to now. This is where we start to move into more promotional stuff, and you will start to see some results. Okay? Second chance email. We're still not at a number where it's worth us doing like bigger stuff. Okay? But we're getting there now, because if we have 2,000 to 5,000, things start to change. Who falls into that category? 2,000 to 5,000? Okay, perfect. If you're at this level, um, we now have some serious momentum, right? We've got some people that we can be hitting up. And so what I like to do is use the list to test new funnels, okay? Test new funnels. We have enough people now, 3,000, 4,000, maybe you're up at the, 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 the top level at 5,000. We have enough that, that if we are going to be putting out a brand new webinar, we've updated our webinar presentation. We're trying a new headline, so everything's looking new. Maybe you're even going to, and you probably shouldn't be doing this unless your business is at the right amount, but maybe you're going to be trying a completely different sales funnel. You've got your webinar, and you're thinking, I want to add in a challenge funnel, or I want to add in a VSL, I want to add in something else. Then test it on the list first. You now have a built-in testing machine. Rather than spending money on traffic to test a new funnel, now you have the luxury of an email list. And you can send out a link to that email list, see what the response is like. If it's good, you can think about scaling that funnel. If it's not good, you've learned for free that it's not good. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now there's something else you can do at this, at this level. Okay? You can do mini promotions. Mini promotions. A mini promotion is something that, the best way of categorizing this is it's something that's only going to last maybe three or four days. It's not a whole bunch of work and a whole bunch of moving parts. It's a simple promotion, but it's brand new content. So let me, let me dissect this a little bit more for you. A mini promotion would be maybe a new VSL. Uh, who knows what, you know what a VSL stands for? Okay, <coughs> video sales letter. So you're going to put together a new 20-minute video. The purpose of this new video is only for your email list. You're not planning on scaling this um, with paid ads. You're not planning on really putting this anywhere else. But now you have an email list that's a decent enough size that it's actually worth creating something brand new. It won't take you long. It's a 20-minute video. You slap it up on a, on, on, on a funnel page, and you email that out to the list. And it's another invitation to book a call with you using a slightly different angle. They've already opted in through your webinar. They, they may or may not have taken action. Okay, well now let's produce a 20-minute training that is taking all the stuff that you've learned over the last couple of days, creating a new angle for what you do and, and the problems that you solve, and a fresh invitation to book a call. And some people who saw the webinar and didn't connect with it saw this video and they go, oh, they're going to talk about that? Oh, they, they, they've touched on this pain point? Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm interested in booking a call. So you'll get a bunch of calls booked from this now and hopefully land a few more clients. Now, on the contrary, I said, well, something that's not got too many moving parts and not got loads of work, so what's an example of that? Well, an example of that is coming next because that is what you'll do when your email list is over 5,000 people. If your email list is over 5,000 people, how many of you in the room have more than 5,000? Fantastic, really, really cool. 
Now you can be focusing on big promotions. And a big promotion is going to be something that lasts seven to maybe even ten days. Maybe you're jumping on the back of a product launch of someone in your industry. How many of you have uh, competitors or friends of yours that do launches and they accept affiliates in your space? Anyone? Okay, I'm actually going to hazard a guess there's far more um, of you than you realize. You probably just haven't looked out there yet. There's loads of other people. Let's have that abundance mindset. You've got you to remember that to promote someone else's stuff, even if it's very similar to yours, it's an opportunity to produce some, some extra revenue um, because that other person, your competitor, the person you're viewing as a competitor, might have an offer, might have a message, might have a way of communicating that your, your prospects on your list just haven't bought from you, but they might buy from that person. So then, fine, let's do a little promotion to our list. And let's uh, introduce them to our now partner, right? And you might generate some clients that way and you'll get a kickback, you'll get a commission, all right? So be looking out for those opportunities. You know, don't get too, you know, in your own little bubble that, gosh, I can't, I can't tell my email leads about anyone else in my space. Guess what? They're on everyone else's list anyway, okay? Don't, don't think they're on your email list and they're on no one else's. E like, it doesn't work like that. They don't opt into yours and then automatically opt out of everyone else's and now they're your lead. No one gets your lead. No, it doesn't work like that. They're on your email list and they're on everyone else's anyway. So we may as well be picking up some affiliate commissions. So might be jumping on the back of an affiliate launch. It might be producing a brand new webinar and doing it live. Doing a live webinar to the list. But we're only going to do that if we've got 5,000 leads or more. Anything less than 5,000, here, here, or here, it's not worth it. Please don't do it. If you have 200 leads on your list, you are not going to get enough people on a live webinar to make it worth your time. You with me? Yes. You might have two people jump on, and one's your mum. Okay? <coughs> She's here to make up the numbers, right? Your uh, motivation for that webinar is low. You're probably not going to make any sales. It's just not great. So it's only when we get to 5,000 that we do big promotions.